Hey guys, welcome back. We're gonna be doing some more work on the Mustang today. I have done a bit more research on the instructions, uh, so a bit better understanding of what needs to happen with this coolant crossover. So these lines go to the heater uh, inside the car. So what we're basically gonna do, basically gonna do, is uh, disconnect them down right over here. They connect to these metal lines. These metal lines go into where the water pump is and the crossover. So uh, basically if we disconnect it from here, all this can just lift out. We don't really need the hard lines anymore and we're going to be connecting these with some 3 8 lines um, right into it. So I'm going to go ahead and get started on that. I'm just going to remove it. Uh, I probably won't show much on camera. I'll show you guys once I have it out of there, but uh, just interested in getting some work done today. Alright guys, we're back. Uh, I actually ended up having to cut the... Uh, the uh, heater hose lines because uh, even though I was able to get the clamps off I just cannot pull them off uh, on the back there's a bracket and it is held in by this 13 mil it's gonna be right back there holding the uh, bracket on so now it should be good to remove here Alright guys, with that, we've had pretty much everything we need to take out of the uh, valley area. I think I do need to modify something like this. I'll need to double check the instructions, but I think I actually need to uh, angle grind this portion out, this uh, stud, or you know, where this bolt hole goes. And uh, some probably position the knock sensors, and then I need to reroute the heater hose down to here, where this nipple is. And then uh, there's some other steps that I need to take. So I'm going to go ahead and review the instructions and uh, move on from there. All right, guys, we're back. It is actually the next day. Vince is here to assist with this. I've actually made some more progress from where we left off. Um, basically, everything I said I was going to do. So I was able to get the heater hose flipped over. Uh, I'll put a link in the description to where I found the trick how to do it. Basically, what you do, those tabs, you got to push both of them in and then push the actual fish fitting against the firewall. That'll remove the pressure from the tabs and then it'll come off easily. Um, then we have to take this, uh, I think it was like 5 eighths or whatever, line to the uh, coolant crossover. Uh, I guess not coolant crossover, but to the, where the pump area is. And then this line comes up right here, waiting for the coolant crossover to be put on. This uh, temperature cylinder head temperature sensor, this wiring harness just need to be extended about 10 inches so it comes out towards the front and then this section right here that's where one of the bolt holes was I pointed out before you just need to take an angle grinder or a jack saw something and uh, remove it also the um, knock sensors the top of the bolts I just ground down for more clearance that's what they say in the uh, instructions just enough to where I can get a, a socket on it and tighten it so now uh, we're gonna go on to the next steps uh, I just need to review some stuff on the installation and uh, we'll get the uh, clint crossover on and then we can work on getting the manifold installed. Alright guys, so uh, we finished everything on the car for its assembly, so now we just need to get this coolant crossover on. Uh, there's some allen head uh, bolts so we need to take off this. It's very important not to remove those screws that are in there. Uh, it is for holding the tabs on here and they've been RTV'd so uh, you don't want them leaking through there. If you take them out you will have to re-RTV it. Uh, you want to take your uh, thermostat. You're going to place it in here just like that and then I believe we can get this part back on these studs, hold it in place and then once that is on we can get the uh, o-ring off this and get this in place I believe like like that. So I'm going to go ahead and get this tightened back down. Alright guys got this all back together and tightened down and then you just have to put the o-ring from the thermostat housing and thermostat housing on uh, and then this bolt is going to remain off until we get the manifold on. I also got the manifold flipped over and I got uh, this DEI heat shielding and uh, some tape to seal it just so there's even more heat resistance in here. The intercooler tub won't get, uh, you know, as much heat. And then we do actually need to go to the parts store to get something that will fit these, uh, like an adjustable wrench because this is way too uh, big for us to have any tool on it. The biggest thing we have is this vise, and this is just going to tear up the sides because it's aluminum. So uh, we're going to head to the parts store, 
grab the tool, get this on, and then the next part will be assembling the whole system and getting uh, the manifold and the coolant crossover on. All right, guys, so uh, got the other side. The uh, cylinder head temperature sensor uh, actually needs to be removed and moved over here. This is going to act as like a water temp gauge uh, for the coolant crossover, I guess. Uh, you don't need to fill the hole on the cylinder head. It's fine. Just remove this. And then you need a NTP to three quarter inch adapter. So this is what's going to connect to that coolant line that's going to the heater hose. Um, and now this is pretty much ready to go on. And then over here, we got the uh, cooler lines all tightened down. Basically, you just want to tighten it so that the rubber gasket kind of squishes a little bit. And then you want to transfer your uh, gaskets for the intake manifold on. Uh, there is little tabs on these, um, like right there. You just got to cut them off so they fit in place and seal it. So now that we have that done, I think we're ready to install the coolant crossover over there and then the intake manifold finally. So we're going to go ahead and uh, follow the instructions, get it connected, and we'll show you over at the car. All right, guys, uh, Vance has got the manifold there. Uh, we got this basically in place. Uh, this bolt right here, so here's it down. I found it easier to plug the pigtail and the heater hose in first and then put it in place because there's some weird spacing stuff with the heater hose and the cylinder head, so no big deal, got that on. Next step is to remove the, uh, the tape here and we can test fit the manifold on. All right guys, so uh, we're gonna go ahead and set this on. Why don't you go on the other side? Alright okay. guys, looks a little seated. There are two spacers, one right there and one right here that need to go in place. <laughs> when I, I put this on actually and knocked it in, the spacer fell into the cylinder head, but uh, no big deal, we fished it out. So we're gonna try positioning this. There might be some stuff that uh, might be catching at the bottom or something, I'm not entirely sure because you know we are dealing with some limited space down here i'm gonna go ahead and get it kind of in position and uh then we're gonna get our bolts in and tighten it down to spec all right guys the manifold is officially on uh basically just these bolts uh go in there with some washers and it's kind of a step process because you'll tighten one side and it'll loosen the other one because it's being sucked down and then you have to tighten that so we did it evenly and uh pretty much following what is recommended uh, I think we're going to end it off here uh, because it is getting kind of late and I actually haven't eaten anything today, so... He's a fucking idiot. Yeah, I'm going to do that. I just brought this out to kind of look at it. We are going to have to relocate the power steering reservoir because this is going to take its spot as the coolant overflow for the uh, system. So uh, I'm probably just going to look online if you have any recommendations on where this needs to go. Uh, I've also seen people kind of make a bracket off of the cylinder head here, like just remove something, make an angle bar and then just flip it around and sits like that. Uh, we'll see what needs to be done. We're just gonna clean up and uh, end off for today, but got it fully disassembled, got the uh, manifold on. Next thing we need to do, get the alternator bracket on, alternator on, supercharger on, take the front bumper off, get the intercooler system on, and then uh, ultimately need to get the fuel system in. I need to put the fuel pump in. It's gonna be really hot this week, so I don't know if I'm even gonna do it this week. It's gonna yeah, be so hot. It's gonna be a fuck that kind of week. So, uh, yeah, that's uh, pretty much it for today. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed. Like, subscribe, comment down below, and we'll see you in the next video.